Okay, so by now you hopefully already have your GitHub and your page, your CodePen account, rather. And uh, we're ready to start coding in those uh, areas that you have created. So we're going to work on assignment 2.1 next, create your home page. By now, if you have the GitHub account, that's where everything, all your code is going to be hosted. That's where your page basically will live. Uh, being whatever it is that your username, your GitHub username is plus dot GitHub dot IO will give you your page. Let me visit. I have included those these two um, links in this lesson. I'm going to click on the GitHub link just to go to GitHub and I'm already signed in. If you're not signed in, please do sign in right away. It's showing me the basic uh, entry point and it's telling me that I have one repository, which is all I need for this class right now. And this repository, it's telling me that my username is IDTSU20. And uh, inside of this repository, I have one folder or another repository actually called IDTSU20.github.io. This is the uh, site that ends in .io. This is the one that actually will take me to my web page. If I click on this link now, it's going to show me the repository, that is, the files that are being stored for me by GitHub. Once again, it repeats the same information. This is my username, and then the repository I'm looking at, idtsu20.github.io. I keep on repeating this, and at some point you'll hear me say username.github.io, and that's what I'm talking about. IDTSU20 belongs to me. If your name is like mine is Francisco Rodriguez, maybe you created one that's frrodriguez.github.io. I would have done that myself, except that's been taken for a while. I have other, other uh, repositories, but this is the one I'm using right now for this course. That being said, I can go to a new tab and type in my username, idtsu20, and then the rest of it, github.io, which has already been typed in for me. Press enter, and I see my page. This is the code that I did in the sample uh, prior. Now, this is my index page. It already exists. So everything that I'm telling you in this lesson, uh, maybe will kill this part if you have it. Hopefully, this is all the information that you have on there right now. Maybe your name and hello world and things like that. We're going to get rid of that so that we can build a real page on top of it. I'm going to swing back to the lesson. And the other link that I have here is HTML basic examples at W3 schools. W3 schools, I cannot say it enough. And I'm sure that when you took Web 1, they told you that W3 schools is very important. It has a lot of good information. It's been worked over by years, by uh, users, by experts, etc. It's a really good reference point. So good right now that if I click on this link, it's going to take me some to some basic examples of HTML. And that's exactly what I want. For example, here, the first one, this is a full um, page that already works. It doesn't say much more than what mine already says. I'm going to right click and tell uh, Chrome to show me the um, page source. And all it's got is an H1. It's got a paragraph. The uh, HTML basic has a little bit more and so let's let's do that. Let's do this. Let's go copy the text in the sample. So I'm selecting the text, right clicking to copy. I'm going to go back to my GitHub page and I'm going to find my index page. It's right here, index.html. I'll click on that to open it. And it shows me the contents, just what I saw earlier on the preview. And I'm going to find this pencil on the right side. This is the edit this file command. I'll click on that and that opens up the editor, which is just blank uh, space, except for my code. I told you that I'm done with this code, so I'm going to highlight it and use the backspace to delete it. And since I pasted the other code, I'm going to right click here and and click on paste. Actually, I don't see paste. I'm going to press Control V as in Victor, and that's going to paste the code. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so that you can see a little bit better. And I'm really zooming in. I'm just trying to make the text larger. So it's got this. It says doc type HTML. It's declaring that this is an HTML page. Then it tells it that there's HTML 
uh, code coming that there is the body code that follows. There is a heading, it's called my first heading. I'm going to change this once again to my name, Francisco's page. I do it for your page. I'm going to then in my next code, here the paragraph, I'm going to say this is my work for IMED2415. That's this class, which has a very unique um, number, 55800, that identifies the, the term that you're studying in what campus, etc. So this is my work for IMED2415, 55800. I'm going to save this. And by that I mean I'm going to scroll all the way down, find the screen button, and I'm going to commit the changes. The changes are committed to the server and it's now saved. I'm going to zoom out so that I can read this a little bit better so it's not so crowded. I think I may be at about 100% now. Now take in mind that GitHub is a public service and there are millions of people using this uh, service every day and maybe not a million people but maybe thousands of people just save the file at the same time that you did or that I did and so if I come here to reload it's already ready so that's good it was a good day and I was able to uh, save this really quick Francisco's page this is my work for and then it gives me the section number I'm going to go back into my github page I'm already in the index.html I'm going to click on edit this file again I'm going to scroll down and following the paragraph this is my work for IMED 2415 be sure to review uh, HTML basic samples, the, the page that we just uh, opened, not just for uh, this little page snippet, but for everything else that follows. It tells you really quick directions, real quick hits. This is your HTML review. This is what you studied in Web 1 that you should know by heart by now. How to declare a doc type, which is what the uh, sample helped us do how to do a heading, which you did to put in your name, how to create a paragraph, which we've already done a couple by now. Uh, we have not, we're not going to be adding any links in this lesson, but they're coming up really quick. We will be putting up images in a while, and uh, then how to view your source, which is something that you saw me do just now. On the left, you can also read up on elements and attributes, headings, paragraph styles, and that would go as far maybe as formatting to get reviewed and just sort of get your feet wet again in HTML and uh, CSS. Before I leave you, before we go to the next lesson, you head on to the next video. I'm going to create an order list. Or rather, let's do this. Yeah, let's do an order list. I'm going to declare an order list by open bracket OL and going to the next line by enter and then saying this is my first list item and whatever we're doing on week one well we've already that's already passed so we're not going to be linking anything from this page to week one but i definitely want to have something that whenever week two comes along i'll put this in all caps and say week two and uh, close the link slash li open bracket slash li do another one well i can either type it or i can work a little smarter i'm just going to highlight this and I'm going to copy. I know that this term we have one, two, we have two, three, four, and then week five is going to be our last one. So I'm going to change that to week three, four. I'm just using the cursor keys to navigate. This is a real simple navigation element here. And then I'm going to close the unordered list, or rather the ordered list, uh, by doing slash OL. Did you get all that? Hopefully, like I said, you already know this from Web1. Also, if you read the HTML elements, you will find uh, a lot of what I'm typing up as we go along. The answers to your questions about HTML are basically in this HTML tutorial page. What I just did was a list. I can scroll down and see if I can find the list here somewhere. If not, I can press Control F and say, "Give me, show me the list, and here's the HTML list and uh, it says here's an unordered list which is just the bullet points and an ordered list which is what i'm creating is going to be numbered 
So maybe I should have used an unordered because I started on week two and uh, an ordered list will start on one. Here's a sample code, basically the same thing that I just typed. So I'm going to go back here. I'm going to do one final change, and that is I'm going to change the OL to UL to get bullet points rather than a numbered list. I'm going to get rid of that space there because I don't need it. I'm going to scroll down and commit the changes. And now I got lucky the first time in that I just uh, committed the changes and I pulled up the page and things uh, changed really quick in less than a minute. But like I said, if you save or commit the file and you can't see it right away, give it a minute, give it two minutes, wait a little bit and see what happens. This, once again, I got lucky. So now my page says Francisco's page. This is my work for this class and I have a bullet point. In the following assignments, uh, we will be adding links to the inside pages. I'll show you how to create folders and directories using GitHub and uh, we'll get your page going in no time. And then at some point, you don't have to do it for this class, but if you want to uh, buy a domain name that is something that reads better than IDTSU20, etc., all these things that I've typed in, I can actually type in uh, the name of the, of the domain that I bought. Like, once again, you don't have to buy it. I'm not selling them either. They cost about $12, but I'm going to change my, uh, my uh, domain to read something like frodriguez.net. Or something like that when you're done with this uh, this video make sure that this page the one you're looking at the URL on top minus IDTSU 20.github.io this is what I want you to copy I'm pressing uh, control C to copy I'm going back to the assignment I'm going to find 2.1 create your home page and at the bottom of this page it says write a text submission Click on Write Submission and press Control V to paste. V as in Victor. My URL is https colon slash slash my username dot github dot io and click Submit to, uh, to uh, submit the assignment. Mine gave me an error because I'm an instructor and I can't turn in assignments. I look forward to uh, telling you more about HTML and CSS in the next video.